Ever thought your antivirus software could be turned against you? Welcome to the world of Kaseka. In this digital age, the art of cyber warfare is constantly evolving, and Kaseka ransomware is the latest Picasso, painting a picture of chaos with a new tactic known as the Bring Your Own Vulnerable Driver or BYOVD attack. Using this method, these cyber rogues can disarm the very security processes designed to protect your system. Now if you're thinking, haven't we seen this before? You're not off base. Kaseka shares an uncanny resemblance to the now defunct Black Matter group. There's a bit of a rumor mill churning that Kaseka might have gotten their hands on Black Matter's source code. Talk about a plot twist. But how does Kaseka operate? It all starts with a seemingly innocent phishing email. Once they're in, they use remote administration tools to gain privileged access, moving laterally within the network like a cyber ninja. They then deploy a malicious batch script and a legitimate signed driver named Veracht 64 sys to disable security tools. Once the coast is clear, they launch the ransomware payload, encrypt files, and demand a hefty 50 Bitcoin payment within 72 hours. It's a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek, with Kaseka always a step ahead. So, next time you get an email that looks a bit fishy, remember, it could be Kaseka trying to reel you in. So how exactly does this crafty ransomware group get their hooks into your system? Let's dissect this digital beast. The Kaseka attack chain is a cunning ballet of digital deceit. It begins with the simplest of steps, a phishing email. Innocuous on the surface, this email is the wolf in sheep's clothing inviting the unsuspecting user to click on a link or download an attachment. This is the first step in Kaseka's macabre dance of destruction. Next, the plot thickens with the use of remote administration tools. These tools, often used for legitimate purposes by IT support, are twisted into instruments of chaos by Kaseka. They use these tools to gain privileged access to the system. Once inside, they commence the lateral movement within the network. This is like a wicked waltz across the dance floor, as the malware flits from one system to another, spreading its malevolent influence. But the dance isn't over yet. Kaseka then deploys a malicious batch script, a series of commands that execute automatically, wreaking havoc in their wake. This is the equivalent of the dancers spinning faster and faster, whipping up a storm on the dance floor. The piece de resistance of this devilish dance is the use of a legitimate signed driver named Virac 64 Sis. This driver is like a Trojan horse trusted by the system's defenses and used to disable security tools. It's a cunning move, akin to a masterful pirouette that leaves the audience gasping. With the defenses down, Kaseka strikes the final blow, launching the ransomware payload, encrypting files and demanding a hefty ransom. It's the dramatic finale to a performance that leaves destruction in its wake. And just like that, Kaseka has danced its way through your defenses. Who knew malware could be so balletic? So you've been hit by Kaseka and your files are encrypted. What happens now? Well, let's delve into the aftermath of a Kaseka attack, where you're left with digital shrapnel and a hefty price to pay. Once Kaseka has successfully infiltrated your system, it's not just about taking control. No, Kaseka is a bit more insidious than that. It deploys a ransomware payload, a nasty piece of work that goes about encrypting your files. It's like a burglar breaking into your house, then sealing all your belongings in impenetrable safes. And guess who has the only keys to those safes? You've got it, our not-so-friendly neighborhood Kaseka. What's more, they have the audacity to demand a ransom for the keys, and it's not just a few pennies. We're talking about a whopping 50 bitcoins. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have that kind of change lying around in my couch cushions. But Kaseka, ever the professional, doesn't just take the money and run. Oh no, they like to cover their tracks. They clear the system's event logs, a bit like a burglar wiping down surfaces to remove fingerprints. This allows them to operate discreetly, making it harder for cybersecurity experts to trace their steps and potentially unmask them. It's a sneaky trick, and one that makes Kaseka a formidable foe in the world of ransomware. The aftermath of a Kaseka attack is not pretty. You're left with a system full of locked files, a hefty ransom demand, and practically no evidence of the perpetrator. It's akin to waking up after a wild party, finding your house trashed, and having no memory of who did it. And there you have it. Kaseka leaves no trace, 
only a hefty ransom note and a lot of encrypted files. Talk about a bad breakup. Think Kaseka is the only one playing the ransomware game? Think again. Let's take a moment to shine a light on some other players in this high-stakes digital drama. Enter Stage Right, the Bayanlian ransomware group. Unlike our previous star Kaseka, who enjoys a good old-fashioned encryption before extortion, Bian Lian prefers to keep things fresh. They've recently shifted from double extortion to encryptionless extortion attacks. Yes, you heard that right, encryptionless. Who needs encryption when you can just steal and threaten to leak sensitive data, right? Bian Lian has a particular taste for the healthcare, manufacturing, professional, and legal services sectors. And their weapon of choice? Stolen remote desktop protocol credentials, known security flaws, and web shells. They're not exactly picky eaters. Oh, and did I mention they're potentially pals with the Makeop ransomware group? They share a custom, net-based tool after all. Birds of a feather, folks. Birds of a feather. So, stay vigilant, my friends. In the world of cybersecurity, it's always hunting season. Well, that's our tour of the dark world of Kaseka and friends. Feeling a bit more cyber-savvy? We've journeyed through the rise of the cunning Kaseka ransomware, dissected the anatomy of their attacks, felt the chilling aftermath, and even got acquainted with some other players in the ransomware game. The world of cybersecurity can be a bit like a spy thriller, isn't it? Except, you're the hero, and your data is the damsel in distress. Remember, Kaseka and its ilk use tricks like the bring-your-own-vulnerable-driver attack to disarm security, and then strike with a ransomware payload. But remember, these cyber villains aren't invincible. With vigilance, strong security practices, and a bit of tech savvy, you can keep your data out of their clutches. In the end, it all boils down to this. In the digital age, your best defense is knowledge. The more you know about these threats, the better prepared you'll be. So stay curious, stay vigilant, and most importantly, stay informed. And remember, knowledge is power. So hit that subscribe button and let's keep powering up together in this wild world of cybersecurity.